When I was 12, I went to summer camp. We had to pick activities that interested us, like singing, dancing, writing. As kids were picking out their activities, including their day-to-day -day schedule, I'd just get there. I didn't know what interested me. I vividly remember looking around and asking myself how these kids knew what they wanted to do. How some kids were able to pick one specific subject and let that be their course of study for a week. There was this one girl named Caroline. He was so passionate about dancing. Keep in mind she was 12. I was so jealous of her confidence. And I thought to myself, how was she able to know that dancing is what she really wanted? Her confidence really stuck with me. I wanted to know how she was so driven and what motivated her. So later that night, I came up to her and asked her, why are you so passionate about dancing? At first she was hesitant, but then she responded saying, I grew up with it. That's all I really know. I looked at her for a moment and said, Well, that's stupid. There's a lot more to do in life than to just dance. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but ever since that comment, she never talked to me. And that was that. So fast forward to four years. I was in the same position as Caroline. I was so determined and so sure about what I wanted in life. I was strong on my beliefs, and I thought I knew exactly what I wanted. But it wasn't that long ago till I started to question everything about my life and the things around me. I asked myself, is this what I want to do for the rest of my life? Do I really believe in this or that? And the most important question, am I happy? I want to think Caroline was not happy, but I could be wrong. I don't know where she is today, but if dancing was all she knew at the time and she was okay with it, maybe she was determined, maybe she was happy, maybe she just fooled us all. When I was 12, I was lost. It was an uneasy feeling because I didn't know what to expect and I wasn't good at anything. So as I grew older, I forced myself to believe certain things because it was safe. And in a way, I felt better. I felt secure. But I knew I wasn't happy. But now I look at life in a different way and I ask if I want to live this life. This life that's so predictable and so normal. This life everyone seems to be living, but not everyone's happy. And I told myself, no. For now, I don't know the answers to a lot of things. I want to be foolish, and I want to make mistakes. Maybe being lost is what I need, what we all need. I'll find my way eventually, and knowing that I won't be the only one is the best part.